to Coachella Valley this week. I'm your host, Denise Neal, here to guide you to the desert's best events going on for the week of February 12, 2011. We'll also feature segments with Mika Young, the Old Desert Naturalist, and our Artist of the Week, all here today on Coachella Valley This Week. Today we're coming to you from the spectacular Painted Canyons in Mecca, where you can hike, photograph, or just take a deep breath and take in all of its glory. Now let's see where we'll be guiding you this week. The La Quinta Arts Foundation's Festive Art on the Umbrellas in Old Town La Quinta takes two spots on our guides this week, February 12th and February 19th, which gives you two opportunities to view art from over 70 artists. For more information, visit www.lqaf.com. The talented Sarah McLaughlin performs on February 12th at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio. For tickets, go to fantasyspringsresort.com. The soothing vocals of Johnny Mathis will take you away on February 12th at the Agua Caliente Casino in Rancho Mirage. For tickets, visit hotwatercasino.com. Have a good old time with the Oak Ridge Boys at Spotlight 29 Casino in Coachella on February 12th. Get your tickets at spotlight29.com. Terry Steele's The Legend of Luther Vandross entertains at the Morongo Casino Resort in Cabazon on February 12th. Get your tickets at morongocasinoresort.com. Enjoy yourself with wine and music at the Gardens on El Paseo in Palm Desert on February 12th. Find out more at thegardensonelpaseo.com. Bernadette Peters dazzles at the Macomb Theater in Palm Desert on February 12th. Get your tickets at mccalmtheater.com. And it's Coachella Valley this week's own Sean Byra's birthday on February 12th. Happy birthday, Sean! <laughs> the classic comedy hit, The Producers, performs at the Palm Canyon Theater in Palm Springs through February 14th. Get your tickets at palmcanyontheater.org. Get fresh fruits, veggies, and all kinds of goodies at the Farmer's Market in Old Town La Quinta every Sunday through April. For more information, go to oldtownlaquinta.com. The Children's Discovery Museum of the Desert's 10th Annual Charity Event, Discovery Home Tours, takes place on February 13th. For more information, call 760-321-0602. Get jazzy with the Jazz Zoo Concert Series at the Living Desert in Palm Desert on February 13th with Roger Newman and friends. Find out more at livingdesert.org. Have fun with Sunday Jazz at Vicky's of Santa Fe in Indian Wills on February 13th with the Desert City's Jazz Band and special guest Joanne Tatham. Vicky's of Santa Fe .com. The Opera Turandot performs at the McCollum Theater in Palm Desert on February 13th. Purchase tickets at McCollumTheater.com. We'll be right back with more guides. for more guides. February 14th is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day from all of us romantics here at Coachella Valley this week. Enjoy jazz with Spencer Day at the McCollum Theater in Palm Desert on February 14th. Get tickets at McCollumTheater.com. Get some Hawaiian action this Valentine's Day with the Luau at the Gardens at El Paseo in Palm Desert. For reservations and more information, call the number on your screen. The Desert Town Hall Indian Well Speaker Series features famed CNN host and columnist Fareed Zakira on February 15th. For more information and tickets, call 760-416-3400. The Cool Factor presents a Love Hangover, a spoken word event at Space 120 in Palm Springs on February 17th. For more information, visit thecoolfactorshow.com. 
The Australian singing group, the Ten Tanners, perform at the Macomb Theatre in Palm Desert, February 15th through the 17th. Get tickets and more information at themacombtheatre.com. Martha's Village and Kitchen's annual charity event takes place at the Indian Wells Country Club in Indian Wells on February 17th with dancing, dinner, awards, and so much more. For more information, visit marthasvillage.org. The Popular Modernism Week celebrates mid-century architecture and style February 17th through the 27th. Visit modernismweek.com for a list of scheduled events. Catch the legendary B.B. King at the Morongo Casino Resort in Cabazon on February 18th. Get your tickets at morongocasinoresort.com. Grammy Award winner Al Jarreau plays at the McComb Theatre in Palm Desert on February 18th. Get tickets at McCombTheatre.com. The Palm Springs Art Festival will feature art from over 175 artists and artisans February 18th through the 20th. Find out more at palmspringsfestival.com. Don't miss the 65th annual Riverside County Date Festival in Indio February 18th through the 27th with good old-fashioned fair fun, food, entertainment, and of course, plenty of dates. Find out more about the event at datefest.org. The cocky culinary bad boy, Anthony Bourdain, appears at the McComb Theatre in Palm Desert on February 19th. Get tickets at McCombTheatre.com. Lionel Richie takes the stage at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in India on February 19th. Buy your tickets at FantasySpringsResort.com. It's all about dance at the Aga Caliente Casino Ranch Mirage on February 19th with Ballin' with a Twist. Get your tickets at HotWaterCasino.com. The performance of Always Patsy Cline entertains at the India Performing Arts Center in Indio through February 20th. For tickets and showtimes, call 760-775-5200. Betty Davis Speaks, a look back at the icon starring Linda Gray, performs at the Indian Wells Theater in Palm Desert through March 20th. For information and tickets, call 760-341-6909. Watch Energetic Polo at the Empire Polo Club in Indio every Sunday through March 27th. For more information, call the number on your screen. Engage in visual delights with the Golden Age of Glamour at the Gideon Fine Art Gallery in Palm Springs through May 31st. Call the number on your screen for more information. For more information on the events mentioned on today's show and other fun taking place up in the high desert, visit thesunrunner.com. There's much more coming up next on Coachella Valley This Week. For fun and interesting articles, you've got to check out the Sun Under Magazine, the magazine of the real California desert. That's all I need to hear. Though my body might be shaking, I won't submit to fear. I leave behind the past that wants to keep me bound and find my way to rest in my eternal crown. I am courageous. May my life lead the way for others to prosper and live better days. I am courageous, and there's no demon in hell to keep me from seeing my purpose prevail. I am courageous. My name is...
is Renee Vargas. I'm married to the old desert naturalist, and I'm also his producer. So I thought I'd spend a little time, share some things about him you may not know, uh, and also explain why his shows will be a little bit different than normal for the next couple weeks. My husband has worn many hats over the years. One of the hats he wears now is backstage manager for the Riverside County Date Festival pageant. It started way back when he was just a teenager and he worked at the pageant every year. He helped mainly with the animals that strut across the stage at the end of the show. One animal in particular was Babe, an elephant. I found a picture at the Coachella History Museum. To my amazement, there was the future Old Desert Naturalist leading Babe across the stage in his cowboy boots. The next year he joined the California Department of Forestry, donning a Smokey the Bear hat. He retired as a fire captain, but still, does anyone ever really retire? I brought to our marriage an eight-year-old daughter who now has a son of her own. So now, he wears a grandpa hat. Well, one of several. Because our daughter had a wonderful dance teacher, Megan Ramirez, she became involved in the date festival pageant, and as parents, we were drawn to the pageant as well. We came at first to watch rehearsal, I started taking pictures, and then my husband, well, he couldn't resist helping, and it just catapulted from there. By the way, Megan Ramirez is the dance choreographer for the pageant. There's not much that my husband can't, won't do, or won't try. He's trained in carpentry, plumbing, and electrical. The old desert naturalist is a feisty man and somehow collects girlfriends along his way. As he explains, they are girls and they are friends. He loves the date pageant just as much as he loves his friends. This is Conrad Vargas, the old desert naturalist. Today is a little bit different show. We're not uh, going with natural history, but we're going with the old-time shows that we put on here at the fairgrounds every year. The stage behind us, which is, it was built in 1948, and this year is the 63rd showing of the show. And to my right is the director here, who will introduce himself. I'm Chuck Belgenarth. I'm one of the directors of the uh, nightly musical pageant, along with Richard DeHaven. And I have here Jan Colocia, who's uh, my, one of our production assistants and uh, co-writer of this year's show, which is uh, titled Prince Ahmed and the Fairy Banu. Um, all of our shows come directly from the stories that are known as the Tales of a Thousand and One Arabian Nights. And uh, just like Scheherazade, we link stories from year to year and entertain the audiences from, uh, just like she did from night to night in order to save her life. To the, my right here, of course, we mentioned is Jan. She's one of my girlfriends, but right now she's a little upset at me because I'm a two-timer on her. <laughs> Jan's a good sport. She's a good friend. Jan, what is your job? I'm a co-writer of this year's show, and I'm a production assistant here, which means I do anything that needs to be done when everybody else is busy. And I'm also in the show this year playing the sorceress Serafina. Jan is a very busy woman, believe me. I work backstage, and I see nothing but dust flying when Jan is working on the stage. So you can't miss the show. From beginning to end, you'll be entertained. We have dancers. We have singers. We have a, an exciting finale number that everybody else will be encouraged to participate in. <laughs> This is Bridget. She's designing the sets this year, the portable sets. She came from Wyoming just to be in the show. We have some girls here that are sorting out flowers for the sets. Are there any pretty ones that smell good in there? Oh, no. They're all plastic? <laughs> yes, they uh, are. Then what the heck? No. We're in the sewing room where these busy girls are making the costumes for the show. 
and I've got my favorite girlfriend right here with me, Kathy. Mm. Oh. I want you to meet my partner, Pat. Patrick is in charge of the props this year. He's really not a transient pushing his cart through here. This is part of the prop. What are you looking at me like that for? Yeah, it must be. And Amid here is doing a headpiece for what? Well, this is a headpiece I designed for one of the enchanted creatures. It's, it's for a male. We have headpieces that's going to go on every wig and hair of different colors. Um, as you can see, this is neon green. It's for one of our male enchanteds. This is Mary. She's a singer and actor in the show. Another one of my girlfriends. <laughs> She's got several. I think I, I, I really do need to go. Here we have some of the kids who are doing the dancing and rehearsals. This is Conrad Vargas, the old desert naturalist. I'm signing off from the fairgrounds, and you've got to come and see the show. The admission to the fair is only $8, and that gets you the into the see the show each night at 6 p.m. Um, we start with a salute to America, and then we go right into the show. The, the fair runs from February 18th to February 27th, and the show runs each night of the fair.
Coachella Valley this week? Then visit our Facebook fan page for current and past shows, photos, and so much more. And remember, like us. If you have a public event that you'd like to have featured on our show, contact me at Denise Coachella Valley this week.com. I'm Denise Neal, and thanks for watching. Catch us next time when I'll guide you to more of the desert's best on Coachella Valley this week. Have fun with Sunday Jazz at Vicky's of Santa Fe in Indian Wells on February 13th with the Desert Cities Jazz Band and special guest, Joanne Tentham. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with Sunday Jazz at Vicky's of Santa Fe on February 13th. <laughs> Have fun with Sunday Jazz at Indian Wells, Vicky's of Santa Fe. Okay. I the moment's gone.